Welcome to the Inquisitive, a quiz on the life and teachings of Bhagawan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Mm, well, I might have sounded redundant or repetitive when I said the quiz is on the life and teachings of Swami because uh, his life itself is his teaching, his message. So, let me just welcome you to the quiz on Swami's life which would automatically mean his teachings. Okay, let's get started. This quiz is not about external facts and figures, not the usual inquisitiveness to know what's happening in the impermanent, ever-changing external world, but the real inquisitiveness to dive deep within oneself and fathom the inner truth which itself manifests outside. Not about information, but about transformation. Hope you enjoy this quiz. The inquisitive, the journey inwards, the quest for the inner reality which alone leads to the goal of human life, the unity with Sri Satya Sai. Okay, here are your guidelines. The teams are Satya, Dharma, Shanti, Prema and Ahimsa. Each question will be put forth to all the teams at the same time and each of the teams will discuss among themselves what to answer. After the given time, which is 45 seconds for the first round and 1 minute for the second round, each team in the above order will be asked to give their answer either orally or on a given paper chit. The quizzers will then announce the right answer along with the points for each team which is followed by a short explanation. Discussions on the solution will be taken offline. The multiple choice questions may have more than one right answer. Each right option chosen will fetch 5 points and each wrong option chosen a minus 5. With that said, let me go on to the quiz. Good luck to all the participants. Jai Sai Ram. Gayantam Trayati Iti Gayatri that which saves the chanter is Gayatri. Let's chant with Swami. Om Bhur Bhuvasuvaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyo Yona Prachodaya Now the question on Gayatri is What does Om Bhur Bhuva Suvaha signify? And the options are A. Materialization, Vibration and Radiation B. Body, Mind and Soul C. The grass, subtle and causal states of consciousness D. Reflection, reaction and resound And your time starts now And the time is up. So let's see what the right answer is. The answer is A, B, 
and see let's see how it is so when we chant gayatri we contemplate the light which illuminates the three worlds or the three levels of consciousness bhu refers to materialization the material body which is grass it is the one you think you are bhuva refers to vibration the life force the mind which is subtle it is the one others think you are suva refers to radiation the soul which is causal it is the one you really are let me mention to you here the source of this topic the three different states of consciousness are explained by swami clearly in the book prashnottara vahini the vahinis the series of books written by swami are indeed a treasure given by the lord himself to us in these books he explains the most complex spiritual concepts in a simple and straightforward way so let's now move on to the next question we all call our parents by different names mom dad mama papa amma nana and so on wouldn't it be exciting to know what god himself calls his parents the question is exactly that how does swami refer to his physical parents swami had his own style of referring to his parents right from the day he announced his advent as an avatar so the options you have are a ammai abai the lady and the man b griham ammai griham abai lady of the house and man of the house c pedda ammai pedda abai the elder woman and the elder man d matrashri pitrashri revered mother and revered father so your time starts now and the time is up now let's go on to see what the answer is it is b griham ammai and griham abai well griham ammai literally means the lady of the house even by the way swami calls his physical mother he teaches us invaluable stuff let's see what he is teaching us here Remember Swami always says he is not the physical body but the indweller so the physical body is like a house in which the atma or swami resides and since the physical body of swami his house was given by mother ishwara amma she became the lady of the house or griham ammai and similarly sri padavenka paraju became griham abai or the man of the house So the lesson that Swami gives us every time he refers to his physical mother as Griham Ammai is that we are not our physical bodies but we are truly the atma Swami said whatever i speak is truth and nothing but truth and nothing that i speak ever goes in vain it is for the benefit of the mankind and we saw here how it is so how every word that he speaks is so meaningful let's now move on to the next question